If you've ever been trying to get information from a website using N8N and you're using an HTTP node in order to be able to go get that website information, you often run into the issue that the information you get back is just full of HTML and CSS code and all of the extra computer language that basically makes it unreadable to us humans. However, you need that data. Like you want that information, you need to be able to scrape it maybe for website or for emails or to pull custom, you know, competitor data or customer data in order to be able to run it through some other process. And if you try to just take all that information and you stick it directly into an AI agent, chances are that the context window is just gonna be blown out. You're not gonna actually be able to run that AI agent. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you a quick process that you can add in to be able to go ahead and strip out all that extra HTML content, the CSS content, and only get back the information that you really need to be able to pass forward to the AI to then do your analysis. And so you'll see here, I just have a, an HTTP node. Um, I'm pulling from you know, generalmills.com. And so if we come over here, our output, you know, it's, it's document type HTML. It's got all of this information. It's got our class data and you know, relative, you got Android information and, and just data. Lots and lots and lots of data being pulled from here. And if I try to find it, like I think here's some uh, references maybe, um, some information of articles that they've done, you know, I don't know, I don't read code. Like this is just a bunch of gibberish to me. Like I'm assuming this is like maybe CSS, which is the styling stuff that you would put on the page to make it look pretty. So like in here, like if I went and tried to find this, I, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't know at all what I'm looking at. It just goes on and on and on. And if I tried to pass this into an AI agent, it's not gonna copy. It just won't go in unless you use something like 4.1. Uh, which has a million context window, maybe Gemini, you can send all this in. But at that point, you're just burning tokens because the vast majority of this information is just not relevant, right? Like, why would I want to pay to have this information go through the AI agent when I have a process that's right within N8N, doesn't cost me anything to be able to get rid of that extra information, and then I can pass it forward and use the AI and only pay for what I'm actually using. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a code node. Now don't freak out, I don't actually know how to code. I had ChatGPT write this for me and you should have ChatGPT do this for you too, or Claude or whoever. But basically what this code does is it's stripping out all of the extra um, HTML code, the CSS code, and it's only returning clean information. All right, and so, um, I, I would just recommend having ChatGPT make something for you. you your code, every time I, I make a code like this, I don't like necessarily have a single node that I just copy and paste for all my workflows. I just have ChatGPT write something for me quick. Um, it, it, it goes so quick. It'd be faster to have ChatGPT do it than for me to go find the thing is what I'm trying to say. And so over here, we have all the code, um, the website, HTML content. And then we run it through this process here and we get back the actual text of the page. So here it starts, you know, General Mills is one of the oldest and most trusted food companies with projects or products in 90% of American pantries. Uh, learn more, contact us, history, explore a variety of snacks. So it's all of the text that you would find on their homepage. All right, we got the Pillsbury Doughboy is headed to the Big Apple to roll out his biggest bakes yet as an example. So this is the stuff that we see on their page. Um, and so if you wanted to pull from a competitor's website, you can now go and you know have a process that scrapes maybe their sitemap, get all their individual pages, run each page through a process just like this where you use an HTTP node to get the page, run it through the code node to strip out just the text that you're looking for, and then have an AI process that and just process all of their pages. You get all that data, get all the information of what their co company is about and who they are. If you're a recruiter looking to hire people, you can go in and see who's employed there and their about page or their, their team page is. And this is the process that you would use in order to be able to get just that data. That way you're not wasting tokens and everything is processed nice and smooth. And if you think this is going to be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video. It really does help. Looking to take your AI development further with more tutorials and free N8N workflows? Simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can find many more AI and N8N tutorials as well as all of our starter workflows that will allow you to start building AI tools directly into your business. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business.
This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.